actually, are female balls more expensive because they're rarer? <gasps> Rie! I don't know if it's the ovary. Rie, can I have your balls? It's a prince. It's princess class balls. Oh shit! Yeah, it's princess nuts, and they're from a girl. Oh, Rie, you're like a treasure trove right now. <laughs> Royalty sperm create a Habsburg dynasty. Rhea, are you gonna get politically married off to a prince of a faraway land and like shipped off? One nut can actually sell for like 27k according to Google. Oh yeah? I looked this up because I was curious, okay? I would never do it. But if you have a good pedigree, are attractive, are in good health, are athletic, do not smoke, do not have any family diseases and have family history of higher education and have higher education yourself. You can sell one egg for like 20, 15 to 20 K. I looked it up out of curiosity, okay? Don't fucking, don't, don't talk to me about, it's just like you can stack up your achievements. You can just give them your resume and be like, hey, <laughs> I'll buy your egg. Who buys the egg? Uh, women who don't have eggs. Boomers is looking into eugenics. Okay, let's not pretend that designer babies are basically upgraded and ethics okay eugenics. It's the same thing. Having a designer baby and eugenics, there's a very thin line. It's basically the same thing, right? Gene modification isn't to that level yet, but soon. CRISPR is very cool. CRISPR is crazy. If you've ever looked into CRISPR, C-R-I-S-P-R, but you can do a lot and designer babies are definitely a thing. But if you had to, like, like honestly, if you had to buy an egg from someone, wouldn't you try to find a good quality egg? Let's, let's just not pretend. Like, we don't have to call it anything. It is advanced eugenics. Yeah, just not in a bad way. Anyway, I would never sell one. I just looked up, and because I have desirable qualities, uh, I could probably get a lot of money. <laughs> oh man, my eggs are top tier. Yeah, that's something that you should put on a dating profile, right? My eggs are worth this much money. <laughs> the investment. <laughs> what the heck, why do you need an egg? To have a child. Imagine being told by your parents that you were a pay to win baby. I would feel so valued if my parents told me that I was a pay to win baby. If they told me like, oh Lumi, we min-maxed your jeans so fucking hard. I'd be like, damn, I got, a, I got so much to live for now. <laughs> right? Easy way to pay off student loans though. I know, that's why I think about it all the time. Like, I'll look at my student loans and be like, and I could sell one egg, just one, and I'll pussy out. Are they worth more money if you soft boil them? Yes, definitely, yeah. Anyway, my, my, my dad always likes to tell me that I inherited his genes and so therefore any failures are weak. You know, it's, it's like my parents are huge nerds. They were like top one and top four of their university respectively. Uh, so I feel like really they, they tried to make this like weird match where they would min max their their future children. And so every time, every time I fuck up, you know, they'll be like, <laughs> our offspring shouldn't be like this. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, parents. Gene maxing, also known as playing Crusader Kings. Yeah, yeah, my, my parents really on that fucking Crusader Kings. <laughs> anyway, so you, they re-rolled until they got you? Oh uh, no, my brother was the re-roll. I agree, but you have to think about the kid when he learns that because it'd be okay for others, they may take it hard. We just don't know on the kid. Are you defensive about being a gene maxed baby, Smug Doko? Do you have problems with me being a min maxed baby? <laughs> I mean, the kid is a product of a min maxed egg baby. In what circumstance would that be a bad thing? Would you really ever feel like that was a bad thing though? Maybe I can't understand because I am a min maxer. Maybe, maybe I just can't understand. It's a lot of pressure on the kid. It's only if your parents are bad. Or it's only if your parents pressure you in this stuff. Like if you were, what if you turned out average? That's fine though, right? Yeah, wouldn't it just mean that like your parents really wanted you to have 
like the best possible start even if you turn out average like it means they tried right imagine being a min max baby but still crashing into a plane all right i was born before they had crisper babies i am not a real designer baby it's not fair also i was sleeping need to gene rags and then also parenting rags average people are above average actually that's true the new average is is much different IRL is RNG though, so min-maxing is, is stupid. I mean, like, I feel like I would be happy, you know? If if one day my parents were like, Hey, Lumi, we put a lot of thought into your conception for the best possible baby. I would feel like, damn, you know, I wasn't just an accident. I didn't just happen to them. They wanted me. And that, I feel like, is something that's nice. Smug Doka, half of marriages end in divorce nowadays. That's a 50-50 dice roll. If you can't, if you have to 50-50 your marriage, at least you can 75% your child. Yeah? It's compensation. <laughs>